Hello and welcome to How to Play Backgammon. This is a continuing series on how to play a great, fun game that's really easy to learn. And I'm here to teach you part three, which is actually how to end the game. Now, I've already set up an ending for this game that um, is not necessarily how it looks at the end, but it's to teach you how to play it at the end. And normally when you play the game, you work all your pieces around the board and one person's trying to get all their pieces here while the other play person works their pieces around the board and tries to get their pieces here. Now, when a player has all 15 of their pieces in this area or in this area, they start what they call takeoff, which is taking the pieces off the board. To win the game, you have to be the first person to take all your pieces off the board. Now, I have set up a board to play a game where the blacks can start taking pieces off and the whites can start taking pieces off and we're going to play a game to learn how to take them off. It's a lot of fun. It's really simple. When kids are just learning to play backgammon for the first time, even before they get to the more complex parts of the games, I usually teach them how to play this. I call it takeoff. Now, one thing I should say that in the real game, as soon as you get your 15 pieces in your quadrant, you can start taking them off. That doesn't mean that the other player at that time has all of their pieces in that quadrant. They could still be working the rest of their pieces around the board. So sometimes you start taking your pieces off the board long before the opponent's doing that. Sometimes the opponent's way ahead of you, and they're taking their pieces off the board long before you are. And it can get interesting because sometimes your opponent could even have pieces still back here. Imagine you're trying to take these pieces off and you've got to be careful because maybe the opponent's sitting here and he's going to get you off with an open piece, thus taking you all the way back to the beginning. Thus, you can't take any more pieces off the board. You've got to work your piece back around and then continue. But let's go ahead and play just a basic game of takeoff. So I've set this board up so that everything is in the position to take it off the board. I've even rolled as white the very first move and I got a four and a two. Now, I love this game, particular game, because it has a number one, two, three, four, five, six. Because this is the one's place, the two's place, the three's place, the four's place, the five's place, and the sixth place. So when you roll a four and a two, you can take one piece off the four, and you can take one piece off from the two. Great. Now the board was flipped upside down, so I can play the other uh, person, the black. And you can see now the whites are up here. They're, they've got their two off. Now it's my turn to roll. I get double twos. In this case, they're showing you four twos because, as you know, when you get double twos, you don't just get two twos. You get double that or four twos. So this is great. Look, I can take off one two. I can take off two twos. But I still have two more twos to take off. But notice there's no more twos. That's okay, because when you're playing takeoff, you can still move pieces down. So in this case, I'm going to take a piece from the four. That's my third two, and now I can take my fourth two. Take that off the board, too. Great. Switch sides. Now it's White's turn again. And again, what you're seeing is a race. Uh, the goal, the, 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 what you, not the goal, but the, what you want are high numbers. The higher the numbers, the higher numbers up here you can take off. So let's roll again. I got a five and a three. Great. Take off a five and take off a three. Pretty straightforward so far. But let's see what happens as you get uh, as, as you get a little higher here with these other numbers. Wow! Again, doubles for the black. Four ones. Double ones, meaning one one twice. So I can take off a one. I can take off a one. But I can't have another one to take off. But I can move one of these pieces one and another one of these pieces one. So I could move this piece I can move this piece one. In this case, I'm going to actually suggest I move this piece one and this piece one again. That's my four moves, and uh, but I didn't get. But uh, at least I moved them down. Now it's time for the white. Let's roll. Wow, a doubles again. I I don't normally see this many doubles. Three double threes, which is four threes. So I can take off one three, but I have three more threes to go. I have no more here. I am not allowed to take these off because you you cannot take even because you're out of threes. It doesn't mean you can take the the next lowest piece off if you have higher valued numbers. 
So that's an important thing to learn here is if you can't take off that number, you're not allowed to take off lower numbers until you've cleared all the higher numbers first. And as we play this game, you're going to see that come up. Um, so remember that thought and keep watching. All right, so I have three more threes. Let's take this one. I'll move it three. I still have two more threes. You know what I can do? I can move another one. One, two, three. Three. And now I have one more three to take. Well, I think I'll just take one more three off. Switch sides. Here we go. Black. Now black gets a three and a five. Well, here's the five. One, two, three, four, five. And he can take off a three. And here's a three. Great. Moving on. White's turn. Now, wow. Um, Good. This will be a good lesson. Double sixes, which is four sixes. Now we come to a place where we can take off the six, but we still have three more sixes to go. Now, because there is no more sixes and there is nothing on the other side of it that we can take off, we are now allowed to take off the smaller numbers as a six. So I can take off, and I've taken off one of the sixes. Now I'm taking off a five, which is acting as a six. That's taken off two of my four sixes. Here's three of my four sixes. And I still have another six, so now I can take off the four as a six. Switch sides. Now, even though this looks like a close game, there's five here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight here, I'm going to tell you that there's a disadvantage here to this black because whereas the whites now, if you get a six or a five, they can still take all of these you know, ones and twos and threes and fours off. If the black doesn't get high numbers, if like if they got a two and a three, they can't. All they can do is move pieces down, and this is where the advantage of having a high uh, rolls comes in. Double sixes is the highest roll you can get. So let's move off that six, and let's take off a five. Now we're going to see again a three and a one. Well, in this case. Um, I could take off a three and a one, but I also could take off a four, a three plus a one. But I'm going to take off the three, and I'm going to take uh, the one and the three. And now we're on to the blacks, and black rolls a six, and black rolls a one. Now black's getting in trouble here because if if they get a one, two, or three, they're not they're not really going to get an easy one to take off. Now look what we have: a four and a two. We can take off a two. And we can take off a four. Now, here's what we basically have learned. Basically, what I'm saying is no matter what, white is going to win on this very next roll. Because regardless of what they roll, they're going to get this one piece off. Therefore, the only way black can win right now is to get double sixes. Because they'll be able to take off this six, and then this six, and then this, and this is a six. And that's the only way. Even if they got double fives... They would take off this 5. They'd have to move this uh, 6, 5, and then they could take off 2. They'd still be left with 1. And that's the best case scenario. Um, anything but double 6s, black is going to lose. Double 4s. Well, unfortunately, let's play it out, but you'll see what I mean when they can lose. So they can take off 1, 4. They can take off 2, 4s. But... Because there's no more fours, they have to move higher valued pieces down. So they can move this one, two, three, four. But can we take this off? And the answer is no, because we still potentially have a piece higher than four. So this has to also move four. One, two, three, four. Now it's yellow, it's white's turn, and white is going to win no matter what. But I also want to point something out, which is. Let's say white did not win on this move for whatever occasion. Black is also a guaranteed to win on the very next move. Because even if they got the worst move on the board, which would be a 1 and a 2, they still would take off a 1, and they still would take off a 2. Um, if they got double 1s, well, then they can move this 1, then they can move this 1, and then they can move it again. So basically, it's a very close game at the end, but a 4 and a 1 white wins. Um, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email me, tell me how I'm doing, keep watching more videos because I have a whole series of them including how to use the cube and also a lot of practice games where I'll just walk you through the strategies of those games. You watch all my videos, I promise very quickly you'll know how to play this game. Thanks for watching.